Okay. Hello. Uh, we're here to talk about relief printing. And in this video, we're going to talk only about black and white single layer uh, relief printing. Relief printing is either woodcut or linoleum where you have a block and you carve into the block and when you're done you roll ink on the surface and the raised flat areas will take the ink and that's where it's going to print. So with relief printing where you carve it won't print. Where you don't carve it will print. And this is a solid block of cherry that has been used as a wood cut but you can also use linoleum. Here is traditional linoleum for that. The real linoleum is the stuff that has the burlap. Comes in either gray or beige. But you can use other things too. Linoleum comes also mounted. Uh, you can get it mounted here with MDF or here with particle board, but they are the same height. And you can get different types of plywood as well that can be used as wood blocks too. Um, so anything you can carve into that creates this, uh, this relief can be inked up and printed. Um, this is an artist named Bill Fick. He is uh, in North Carolina and uh, he's been doing many kinds of prints for many years now and um, he has a wonderful style of faces that he does. Here are two of his faces, two of his prints. Now I'm trying to show you in this video about single color, black and white only relief prints. And these are actually slight uh, uh, exceptions because he printed a, an off-white first. So you can just tell that this and the paper are different, barely. They're very subtle. It's a very subtle difference. And so what he did is he probably carved the whole shape of the head first and then printed the solid layer of off-white on all the prints. And there's 25 in the edition. And then when he finished that, then he went back in and carved all the detail and then printed in black on top of the exact same 25 sheets of paper. And this one is the same in the sense that it has this off-white solid that was printed first because that off-white is very slightly different than the tone of this paper. And the paper obviously is not white, but, uh, and that's, that helps pop this out even more. But you can really clearly see like where his carving marks are. So where he carved, it doesn't print. Um, where he does not carve, it leaves the block raised and smooth, and that's where the ink is gonna roll up, and that's where it's gonna print. So in many ways, relief is the most straightforward of the print media that we cover, um, but it is still kind of endlessly complex in, in what can be done with it um, and, and how it can be used. It is fantastic for really developing a great graphic language. I think Bill Fick is a really good example of that, of, of taking, you know, he's drawing from an awful lot of influences here uh, over the years that he's used to create his style. Um, we'll try to either put hyperlinks to artists' websites either in the comments of the videos or maybe edit it into the video itself, but probably in the comments. This artist I don't know really very well. His name is Zheng Zhao Yang. That's Z-E-N-G, Z-H-A-O-Y-A-N-G. And this is a single layer woodcut. Um, it's done from, I think, a piece of plywood. You can see the grain of the wood coming into the print. The detail that he's carved in is quite shallow in the block. Um, and you can see little telltale signs. There, the detail is so shallow that sometimes uh, some of it starts to fill in with ink a little bit. 
But what that allows him to do is to get these really subtle gradients. So this is a huge amount of time invested in this, in terms of the carving. He's often, you know, sometimes he's carving hard edges, but he's often carving tiny little marks in huge expanses in order to arrive at um, a value, a gray value that results based on the way the eye sort of optically mixes this stuff. I like the title of this one. It's The Tragedy of Geometry 3. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a great print. I bought it from one of, uh, I think, the conferences. And this print here is um, by an artist named Jack Arthur Wood. Uh, and uh, it, this is the bottom of the piece there. Um, it is a single layer print. It's printed on a piece of yellow paper. I'm not sure of the name of this paper. Uh, you see various kinds of paper like this, but in the big open areas where he's carved away, you can get a good sense of what the paper looks like by itself. So you can, buy, you can buy these papers that come in different colors and different things are embedded. This is like organic uh, plant matter uh, put into the slurry when the paper is being made. And so these irregularities are actually like leaves or flowers that have been mixed into the paper pulp when the paper is being made. And then you can clearly see the block that Jack carved uh, and printed on that. So just because you see the yellow doesn't mean this is a multi-block or multi-color woodcut. The color is coming entirely from the paper and then the, ink, the black is just from the ink. Um, you can see how large it is, you know, and in many ways, if you want to make printmaking but you want to work large, uh, relief is the easiest and the cheapest way to do that a lot of times. Uh, you can work big like this and you can work at home. You can print this by rubbing the back of the paper with a wooden spoon, so you don't even need a press. So you don't even need major facilities to do relief. Uh, you can also print this on a press, as long as your press is large enough. Uh, we do have presses here large enough to print like this, no problem. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic uh, example. And then I just have a few student examples from here in our classroom of an assignment that we've done many times over the years where you, you choose a portion of an Albrecht Durer woodcut and you copy that detail um, and you can also alter it. So here there's major altering. They're really taking Durer's clouds and rearranging it. Here it's more straightforward, like a cropping detail of a larger print. Here you see an example where they left in his initials that Albrecht Durer always would leave into his blocks. Um, and this is a pretty faithful translation of Durer's line work and carving. Um, yeah. So relief is, just to sum up, relief is, um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. It's easy to learn the basics of it, but it's hard to do it really, really well. Um, and lots of other examples we could be showing you, and in class I'm sure we will. Uh, so that's the basics of relief in black and white. The next video we'll do relief in color in video.